Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a barrel man, and I'm saying that right now, and, and I mean, um, the topic I want to touch upon is this latest trend that is going on on social media. You know what I'm saying? This GoFundMe thing. As somebody have somebody dead, them start a GoFundMe and asking the public to contribute towards the burial of the individual and all these things and that you know what i mean contribution will go towards the individual's children because the individual would have want his children to live a good life to go to university and for them to be all right and all them sort of stuff them now you tell me now what kind of slapness and embarrassment that what kind of shameful activity that eh? when since people start have people dead and i expect the public to bury the person for them. Eh? For pay for the funeral expenses. In this modern time. When you have insurance. You know what I mean? Life insurance can't take out. A family indemnity plan. And all these wally for things. Why do you need to come to the public. To help you to bury your dead. Bury your own or dead. You understand what I say? Now. Some of these persons who die. You can see them profile on social media. You understand what I say? And how is it that somebody who have that high profile is going to then dead and then in family members I say, help we bury him. Help we take care and picnic them. Right? Now, the latest situation is the big Jamaican legend actor. You know what I mean? Who starring enough high profile show where we love as Jamaicans. You know what I mean? The man living in Canada for years. The man carry a profile where the man clean. The man of the latest brands and all them kind of things. And the man dead. And before the man body cool, him girlfriend start a go for me and have this long lecture sitting. And all them old past stuff. The I think it is so shameful. Me feel embarrassed. Right? But you are ladies and gentlemen. Me can't blame the dead man. The dead man never opened no go for me. And if we all watch Louis and we see how he move, that man there's a feisty man. So I know so right now, probably, the man might in him him, him, him cafe right now a turn for Sissy in dead and this big embarrassment of Guan. You know what I mean? For Money a chump up, chump up, chump up, chump up for bury him. See? A man who always in him goal, in his latest brand. The man who, 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 who profile a particular way. You know who me think is shameful? A woman who do it. See? Now you and a man there, and the man dead. And you want other people now to take care of the man burial and him pick them. Warm to you, are you a mother? See? It's your responsibility to take care of your picnic them yourself. Find a next man or something. Right? It is shameful and there is no way that I would ever take my money and contribute to nobody's funeral, especially somebody who have bling on a flask. No way and thing would I do that. Like like big man thing. You know what I'm saying? Because here we know. Who to tell? Louis just might have insurance. No, no, we don't know that. Louis might have the money stashed away in a bank. No, no, we don't know that. And the people them who are start this go for me, some of them are thief. Right? And them are try for um hustle half of the dead. That is what it is, you know. Them are hustle half of the dead. So because them know say Louis is a favorite of the Jamaican public who follow him because and everybody follow him because you know I mean I think we'll bad one and thing we go on with all the way. And everybody follow them thing there. See? But you know. So I say, so them are try capitalize on it. And I try to sensationalize by putting a pit in them. It is so embarrassing for the pit in them. For no say boy, then father dead, right? And I chump up people have a chump up money for bury him. Me don't believe say Louis would have at least sanctioned this. Right now, I feel like say Louis has cussed up some money for bad word right now, say boy. Take down that go for me there. See? Ladies and gentlemen, in this modern time, there is insurance, life insurance. If you want to, 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 to ensure or to put things in place for your children to be okay because you don't know when death is going to come. Death can come anytime. You understand what I say? And once you have children or you have loved ones who depend on you financially, the only secure way to ensure that some money left back 
for them to recover for a period of time until they get used to you not being there to provide for them is life insurance. In a Canada, you can't take out a $30 life insurance to give a good amount of money. You understand what I say? Now that turtle, ladies and gentlemen, is two Big Mac, right? And a crispy chicken from McDonald's with a large fries. Per month. That's it. You know what I mean? And your picnic then take care of. And your funeral expenses take care of. Parents, if you have children and you know say your problem might dead, right? Take out an insurance for yourself so your debt don't become a burden to your children then. You understand what I say? This slackness must stop, ladies and gentlemen. And there is no way that I will ever take my pity them money and contribute to nobody, um, nobody funeral. If it was a situation where the person was ailing for a long time, and you know how hospital bills go, medical bills, it drain their money and then have nothing more left, and the family is chopped for cash. That's a different situation. But not when the man dead sudden, you know what I mean? With a whole heap of gold chain around him, the kind of whole heap of thing, and you are going to embarrass the dead man by come start a go for me. See, that woman they should have shame herself. You can't blame the dead man. We don't know what Louis put in place for himself already. We don't know. See, so we can't curse Louis. You understand what I say? It's the person who start the go for me. But hear what I say? People, don't make them embarrassment thing happen to you. Take out a life insurance. Take out a family them to plan. Right? If you're in a Jamaica, go to Sajik World. Start one policy. You know what I mean? Because when you're dead, there are immediate expenses. See? If you used to pay rent for your family and you're dead, rent still have to pay you. Insurance money help you go and deal with that until them sort out themselves. See? And you have to bury. So I say, so I could be more responsible and cut out the slackness and carelessness what I go on because if you stop Rasta, you know what I mean? The big, big, and big celebrity go for me, the woman I take out. I disrespect that. You know what I mean? Disrespect. So me I say, sell some of my gold, them and thing. And bury him and I stop. Disrespect the man last days. Barrel man out. Bury your own dead.